Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again. I am here and I am talking wrestling, but more specific, it is Tuesday and I am here to talk about Monday Night Raw. But uh, even more in specific, I am here to talk about the opening segment for Monday Night Raw. But before I get into that, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to this channel uh, and hit that notification bell uh, to be notified whenever I'm for whenever I make a video. So let's get right on into this. All right, um, the opening segment featured Kurt Angle. Uh, he talked, but he was quickly interrupted. Well, not quickly interrupted, but interrupted by Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar. Paul Heyman was upset that a fatal four-way was made uh, at SummerSlam, so was Brock Lesnar. Uh, but the headline here from this promo is that Paul Heyman said that Brock Lesnar would leave WWE if he did not retain the title. And he said he Paul Heyman would leave as well. So, I gotta admit, they used the UFC rum rumors the multiple UFC rumors in this storyline and I gotta admit it's a rare stroke of genius for WWE and you know it piqued my interest because you know I mean I was already excited for the match itself but to hear a line like this you know it has an element of believability in it because the rumors are running rampant you know you got UFC uh, rumors in November you got John Jones versus Brock Lesnar rumors uh, and basically what's going on is I'm pretty sure the UFC wants Brock Lesnar I'm pretty sure Brock Lesnar wouldn't mind cashing in and there's a situation going around to where uh, you know he has to jump through a whole lot of hurdles just to get back into UFC but once he does he can uh, take a one match fight like he did before uh, and be back uh, for to, to, uh, to finish out his contract with WWE uh, like I said this adds an element of believability because I mean with the rumors of UFC going around you, you know it, it, it's tough it, 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 you start you start to believe that you know this is Brock's this might be Brock's chance to lose the title at SummerSlam and I was already thinking that heading into the uh, event, and this gives me even more belief now that we may be heading that way. Now, as for what this means for SummerSlam, um, I mean, I was already excited about the match uh, before uh, this promo took place. I was excited for a big four-way that was just going to tear down the house, but after uh, this promo it really piqued my interest and that's the uh, main accomplishment of building towards a big match you have to pique the fans interest and my, my, my interest is nearly at its highest for this match and this promo did a whole lot to, to uh, do that so looking at this stipulation uh, there's a scenario going around that you know, people are saying that Brock can lose at SummerSlam, uh, go to UFC, and be back from Mania. I don't know how they would write that storyline in, but there's always a way in wrestling. We always uh, forget logic in storylines. But, you know what? This is something that I could see happening. And, you know, I'm getting rather tired of Brock Lesnar as the champion. In a way, I'm hoping that the belt gets taken off of him. And, you know, I'll save my predictions for that for SummerSlam, but this was a fantastic promo. Paul Heyman was great again, and he did a great job at selling uh, the realness of the situation.